Hi everyone at hashtag be one less and well, this is going to be a tribute to a little girl named Dahlia Vida. She died on March 5th and our prayers and hearts go out to her and to her mother. Um, we want to highlight this story. I'm here with Tim who's at Tanner's dad and who will be sharing this on Twitter with people. Um, I learned about this on um, somebody's Facebook page but I'm just going to take you through the pictorial which is this is the picture where the mother's explaining that um, she's going to her daughter's appointment uh, to get her almost one year shots perfectly healthy no indication whatsoever of any sign with this daughter and you can see that it's February 25th um, the child started running a fever and that was the only indication on the 25th. Actually, she had spent a really hard night with no sleep um, because the baby was just not happy. Tally was just not happy. Um, this is when the next report was Thursday. I, I'm not quite sure the days of the week, the way they line up, but the next day is Thursday, and it's, it's basically saying, please, please, please pray for this child because in her words it's looking very grim. Um, another one on the Thursday saying please pray it's looking really tough. Oh, another request for prayers and then that they're saddened that they're losing her. And it just doesn't get sadder than this. And it doesn't get any more obvious to those of us who fight desperately every day. And I'm not going to cry. <sighs> so that there will be one less kid like this. All we want people to do is the research. We want them to do the research so that you don't take a healthy kid, a beautiful baby girl, into your doctor's office trusting what they're saying on the 25th of February only to come out 10 days later from the hospital leaving empty-handed because you left your dead baby behind. Tim, do you have anything to say? <clears throat> this is exactly what we're advocating to um, get a healthier and generation and to our future. We're, we're not out arm twisting or doing any propaganda a meme that's floating around right now that says truth will prevail and this is absolutely truth we're not um, sensationalizing not going crazy not saying everybody's going to have this experience but people are having this experience and to be denied and bashed and and bruised and then come back and people saying that we didn't experience what we experienced we're experiencing this um, emotionally every day for the rest of our lives, for our babies that have died, our babies that have lost the ability to communicate, our, our babies that are, um, if, are now dealing with special needs, and uh, even the high-functioning children um, are getting to the ages where the parents realize now that they're not going to be able to function in society without help. And um, those conversations are happening every single day, and we're absolutely praying for America, and we're praying for the eyes of everybody listening to this video to be awake and realize the uh, political, health, and economic impact of a billion voices coming together. It's time for our voices to come together. And this is a baby that died after we got to a billion. This is a baby who died because media ignored this. This is a baby who died because our political quote-unquote leadership ignored the information that's out there. This is because people are discouraged from doing the research about vaccines. This is insanity that this is happening. If we lived in a normal reality-based society, it would take one just one baby like this to happen to, and the entire vaccine program would be put on hold to determine what to do next, which is what they did in Japan when they stopped the MMR. We, don't we, 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 we have about 40 different categories that we could show you instantaneously 
a um, hundred deaths in, and not one of those forty cat character um, categories has the media said, "Oh, there's a hundred deaths in this category: deaths from wandering, deaths from seizures, deaths from SIDS." We can go on and on about those, and but they can they show you a hundred cases of measles where everybody recovered, and that becomes the national news for a week. And, and we don't want to make this too, this is a tribute to hashtag Talia Michelle. We're hoping that this can go viral so that parents just need to do the work and do their own due diligence and make their own choice. And we need to make sure that our health care choices are not mandated by our government. We all pray for Talia. And again, it's hashtag Talia Vida with an H. And we love you and we will see you one day. And I'll see you on Twitter.